not remember what I show you now. And yet I shall awaken memories of love and crime and death. Frankenstein, Dracula, the mummy, Wolfman. I love these monsters and that genre of filmmaking. It transported me to a different time, a different place, terrified me. It had a very unique kind of romance that I was attracted to. Universal monsters were truly the first cinematic universe. <laughs> Like These are people etched by misery and trauma and loss that made them into these monsters. Whoever is bitten by a werewolf and lives becomes a werewolf himself. In the 1932 Mummy, you emphasize massively with Boris Karloff's character. My love has lasted longer than the temples of our gods. No man ever suffered as I did for you. All these monsters tend to be heightened aspects of ourselves. The difference between them and us is that they have crossed the line that most of us would be too frightened to cross. I wanted to do something tremendous, to achieve what men of science have dreamt of since the world began. All of these classic monsters were complicated beings. They had a real through line to your heart. You identify with these characters. There's points where you really want to see them win. You're kind of asking, who's the monster here, us or them? With The Mummy, we are all making a movie together to uphold a very precious legacy. You can't run. You can't escape. She's got plans for you. These movies were suspenseful classic horror films. So for me, it was very exciting to be able to have an opportunity to bring this kind of film to a modern audience. To a new world of gods and monsters.